The Clippers returned to training camp in Hawaii, and this week it's been about more than just basketball. It's about a sense of brotherhood and a chance to give back to the community. <laughs> We sort of have a philosophy that we like to leave a place better than we found it and I think that this is an opportunity for kids in middle school to really explore areas that they might not otherwise have a chance to. Well you were there, I remember your rookie season, you were there at the community event when the Clippers unveiled that they had refurbished all 350 basketball courts in the city of LA. Uh, so how does today remind you of that day? Man, like it's so so similar really to be honest, you know, like just having a whole lot of people who's just happy and you know enjoying the moment. Um, I think that was the that's really the, the main similarity with um everything really the whole event. So I'm just happy to be here, you know, like being able to like see look at kids and look at us and see what it takes and you know just you know have somebody to look up to, you know, at the end of the day that's 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 all it's about. So um it's great. So Roko, you were in there for a long time interacting with the kids. What is it about community service that really speaks to you? Uh, everything. Um, interacting with the kids and you know sharing special moments with them. You know, seeing the smiles and the joy on these kids' faces as we we interact with them is it's been it's always life changing. You never know one small moment can be life changing for them. So and it's life changing for us too because you get to meet so many different personalities and we get to learn about the culture here and you know see the smiles on these kids' face and excitement. These kids are enjoying. It takes a community to build a school. It takes a community to build any, raise anyone. Um, you know I I stand on that heavily. You know it wasn't just my mom, and my dad that raised me. Um, you know I had mothers, fathers at school, uncles. Um, you know throughout the time that you know I was you know growing up. So you know people that kept in contact with my parents. That you know if I did something wrong. And my parents didn't know about it, best believe it's going to get back to them. So, I mean, it, it does take some village to raise a family. It um, takes a village to raise any, to any kid. And I strongly believe in that. So, the nation um, of, you know, really just giving back, you know, it, it's, it's all, always a pleasure for them. I mean, a day like today, it's really one of the most fun parts of my job is to be able to see what a sports franchise can bring to a community and make a lasting impact. There's one thing to go watch a team and cheer them on and the you know, sort of community that that provides, and that's a special thing, but being able to touch the lives of people in a more permanent way is something that's kind of irreplaceable. And today, that's what it felt like. You walked in and you saw kids who potentially are inspired in a way that they couldn't have imagined before. It makes me feel like pumped up to see them. I think it's really special and I love that they're doing fundraising and um, being aware of what's going on. I think it's pretty amazing for, you know, just the state in general because we have a college team that, you know, this college team means everything to the state of Hawaii and to have an NBA team play here and represent the state, I think it means a lot. Uh, it's nice, you know, uh, like living out here for the past two years, uh, we don't really get to see like many uh, sporting events. so. It's good to see like a basketball game and hopefully some football teams will come out here too.